very good morning to you. You are watching ITN News. Let's take a look at your headlines first. Globally, coronavirus has now infected more than 168,000 people and killed at least 6,610. No decision to postpone the parliamentary elections, Chairman of the Elections Commission. The SLFP will contest in four districts single-handedly. And in headlines overseas, France imposes restrictions on movement to contain COVID-19. And with that, we move on to the news in detail. A total number of 28 patients have been tested positive for coronavirus and 212 people are under observation. The Ministry of Defence instructs people who have arrived in Sri Lanka from Europe, Iran or South Korea during the period from the 1st to the 15th of March 2020 to register at the nearest police station or 119 centre immediately for the benefit of themselves and the community. The Ministry of Health has stipulated maximum retail prices for disposable face masks. A maximum retail price of 50 rupees has been set for disposable masks and a maximum retail price of 325 rupees for N95 masks. The Ministry of Public Administration has issued a circular stating all agencies should take steps to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Director General of Health Services Dr. Anil Jha Singha tells the public to act responsibly during the festive season. The sterilization process of all passenger transport services across the country commenced yesterday. Retired Major General G. A. Chandrasiri, Chairman of the Civil Aviation Authority, said that the Kaltunayak Airport will not be closed. Quarantine mechanism is also in progress. The Army has established 12 such centres. Quarantine is carried out with all the facilities in those centres. 1,723 people, including eight foreigners, are being quarantined. The examinations department has taken measures to issue certificates online only. The deadline for applications for this year's GCE Advance Level and Grade 5 scholarship examinations has been extended till the 31st of this month. The Department of Registration of Persons states that the one-day service to issue national identity cards has been stopped with until further notice. Meanwhile, the Criminal Investigations Department has arrested two persons for allegedly spreading false information about the coronavirus on social media in Ragama and Bandaragama areas. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has warned that the coronavirus pandemic is a defining global health crisis of our time, as it urged countries to test all suspected cases. The United States and countries across Europe have closed schools, entertainment venues and all but essential services in an effort to combat the virus. Globally, the virus has now infected more than 168,000 people and killed at least 6,610, according to the World Health Organization. U.S. President Donald Trump has said the nationwide coronavirus emergency could last until the end of the summer or even longer. He said Americans over the next 15 days should not gather in groups of more than 10 and avoid bars, restaurants, food courts, streams and crowds. The U.S. has so far had more than 4,200 cases of the virus and 74 deaths. Global stock markets have sunk again despite central banks around the world announcing a coordinated effort to ease the effects of the coronavirus. Global stock markets have sunk again despite central banks around the world announcing a coordinated effort to ease the effects of the coronavirus. The Dow Jones index closed 12.9% down after President Donald Trump said the economy may be heading for recession. Chairman of the Elections Commission Mahinda Desha Priya says that no decision has been taken so far to postpone parliamentary elections. 
He was speaking at a media briefing in Colombo yesterday. Mahinda Deshapriya further said that it is necessary to accept nominations and publish the announcement before taking any decision of holding the upcoming general election. He added that only two people are allowed to submit nominations in respective areas to avert possible threats of spreading coronavirus. Mahinda Deshapriya also said that the awareness classes scheduled for candidates on the 24th of this month are likely to be postponed. SLFP General Secretary Vaisir Jayasekara says that his party will contest in four districts single-handedly under the sign of the hand. Thaisri Jayasekara made the comment addressing a group of journalists. The SLFP will why Noorelia, Karatura, Vanni and Jaffna districts without any alliance. The SLFP formed an alliance with the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna to contest the parliamentary polls as the Sri Lanka Nidahas Podujana Sandhanya under the emblem of the Lotus Pod. And that's all the news we have for you today. Have a pleasant day.